My mom's here. That's the way they are. Hi. Eat. Okay. My mom is currently visiting because we're both vaccinated. Haven't seen my mom in 15 months, which was such a great 15 months, if I'm being honest. Like, I kind of wish it could have been longer and longer so and longer <laughs> and longer. So but mean. then she was like, well, I have to come. And I said, well, you don't have, have keys to. to my house. And I broke in. So, so <laughs> I thought that we would do a Q and A because the last time that my dad was in town, which was almost exactly a year ago, did a Q and A with him. And so to make sure that my mom didn't get mad at me, uh, I am obligated to make this There's video. Fair. So I asked Twitter, the internet, to give me questions for you. So there's about 3,000-ish questions. I don't have time for that. Of which we will answer like three. So I grew up in Maine. You kind of grew up in Maine. Where are your favorite little getaway spots slash less well-known spots in Maine to go? Sending love from Maine, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Morgan. I'd say my favorite spot is Robinson's Woods which is in Cape Elizabeth, near where we used to live. And it's my favorite spot because it's the woods and it's beautiful and there's paths and you go along and in the, in the fall, the fall leaves smell just right and it's just great. And I'm sure a lot of people know about it, but it's my favorite spot. My favorite spot is the McDonald's in Mill Creek <laughs> at three o'clock in the morning. If you watched, what are your thoughts of Unis Honest and what do you think about the role of Ethan in it? Well, I was really excited about Unis Honest starting and the whole concept of Unis Honest, which you kind of, and maybe I got it wrong, you kind of expressed as doing kind of bucket list things. So mm -hmm. I was really excited for you to get to do a lot of adventures. Like at first you talked about jumping out of planes, you talked about bungee jumping, you talked about a bunch of Were stuff Were you like excited that. about those? Well, I mean, I had the mother fear, but I was excited for you. So that's what excited me at the beginning. And your role in it, like I think your role was great. And yes, in fact, for those who are asking, I did watch the whole entire last but you didn't watch all the videos. I did. Because no, you're I didn't. not really supportive. Well, I watched probably 90. What was your favorite video of the Unis Honest videos? Oh, I don't like that question. I, I, I like that. Oh, I like the one um, with James. Is that his name? I don't like where this is going. When you guys did the, um, did the uh, obstacle course. If you had to swap traits for a day, physical or personality wise, what would you swap and why? Swap with whom? Each other. If I could swap a trait, I would take your ability to. My bank account. <laughs> yeah, your bank account first, yeah. No, I think I'd take your ability to just kind of keep going and keep going and keep going and be outgoing and just be so personable and so um, compassionate. I don't know what I'd give you. What, do you. what would you like of my traits? You're cooking. <laughs> You're a pretty good cook. Yeah, but I would like to inherit all of the recipes that you have obtained over your 60 okay, years. Okay, well, when you have me back, what you can do is we can have, right. have me back for a really long period of time, yeah. and then I'll teach you all my recipes. Whoa. What kind of kid was Ethan? Crazy, sweet, shy, all of the above? Oh my God. He wanted to do everything himself. I don't think I was ever shy until I got to high school. No, and you wanted to do everything yourself. Like when he was like this big, he wanted to go buy things at the store. Can I go pay? Can I do this? Can I do that? He just wanted to do everything all by himself. So he was like grown up when you were about to. Do you watch Ethan's streams? Do you brag about him to your friends? What do you think Ethan's biggest strength is? Which one of his friends is your favorite and least favorite? Oh gosh. <laughs> I think I've watched almost all your charity streams. I'm not sure if I've watched all your regular streams, but I try to. Do you brag about me to your friends? I wouldn't say I brag about you. I would say that I'm proud of you and I'll tell people things about things that you do that I'm proud of. Which one of my friends is your favorite and least favorite? Wow, that's really hard. I think Andrew Harrington might be your favorite friend of mine because he kind of just has been with you kind of through the whole thing. Oh, well, Zoe, gosh. So those two are kind of like tied for me. I don't know if you have a bad friend. Do you have a bad friend? I don't, I don't know. I mean, you don't really know a lot of my friends here. I don't, I don't think there's any of your friends I don't like that I can think well, of. Well, you have to choose because- I have to favorite. choose? Name some of your <laughs> friends and I'll tell you who's on the bottom. Name your top five friends and I'll tell you who's on top. No, I don't know. Too dangerous. Here's one that's also for me. What is your favorite memory you have of Ethan as a kid? And then to me, what is your favorite memory you have of your mom? Can I tell the story that I always like to tell? Sure. Okay. So when Ethan was about four, we had moved into our new neighborhood. So we were in the new neighborhood and our new neighbor came over and we were sitting outside and we offered him some lemonade. His name was Steve. 
And so Ethan's like, I'll get it, because of course Ethan wanted to do everything. So he went inside and he got the lemonade and he came out. And so we're on the stoop. He comes over and he trips over the thresh threshold and he goes, oh shit, and then just keeps going and brings him the glass of water without. But where did I learn that language? From my your mother dad. and my your, father. Your dad. How do you feel about Ethan's new tattoos? Any disagreements? Any ideas? I just think that it's your own body. You should do what you want with your body. You weren't and, thrilled about it, though. Well, I wasn't thrilled about the first one, but then once you have one, it's sort of like, okay, whatever. I think it's more weird to just have one tattoo than to have multiple. If I just I had, guess. like, one tattoo, I feel like it would look weird. You know what I mean? If I just had this or something? Oh, I didn't say I, what I, my I like favorite one. memory I of like you that is. Tattoo. Which one? I like the that tattoo. Yeah, I do. I like, I actually like all of them. All the memories that are coming to mind are times when I was traumatized by oh, you. Oh, great. Yeah, see? Like the time Don't. where I forgot <laughs> to, when I was a kid, we got our first you dog. You this one already. Cooper, maybe, I don't know. We got our first dog, Cooper, and I was eight. And my parents were like, you have to take care of the dog. And of course I was like, yeah, of course I will. And then I'm eight, and so I don't. She had like fairly matted fur, and then you took her to get groomed, and then you came back with like a triangle of fur, <laughs> and you told me that they had to cut her ears off, because, which is so fucked <laughs> up. You told me that like a 10 year old kid or whatever, however old I was, was that they had to cut my dog's For ears off. For two seconds and then we stopped. No! No, we... Also, don't say we. Dad <laughs> didn't have anything to do with this. I don't even think he was in the room. I it was 100% you. He probably put me up to it. How did you end up finding out that Ethan had ADHD? I feel like this is fairly obvious. You know what? I mean, he was he was just active the whole time. Everything. Did your teachers ever talk to me? Because that was like the catalyst for me getting on me meds was I got bad grades. I can't remember. I just remember that you were always, always super, super active. We put you in gymnastics because you were active. We got you a trampoline because you were active. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we ever, I mean, that was before it was cool to have ADHD. <laughs> before it was cool? Still I not. remember what your teacher said when you went on ADHD meds. He said that he really saw a change in you from when you were on the meds, from when you were on the meds. And he thought, I thought he, that was all in his control. And he said, I realized through that experience, it was not all in your control. Yep, and then I was severely over-medicated. Not your fault. Do you know how much Adderall I was on? I have no idea. So, I didn't think you were on Adderall. Yeah, you know. I was on Adderall first, and then I changed to oh. Focalin. So as an adult, I take 36 milligrams of Concerta, which is what I'm on now. I don't know how that translates to whatever, but I was on Adderall as an adult, and I took 20 milligrams of Adderall as an adult. As a seventh grader, I took 40 milligrams of Adderall, oh which is really bad. Again, not my fault. This goes on to what we were just talking about. I want real mom advice on how to raise a very active boy with ADHD. My son is pure chaos and I swear he's going to make me lose my sanity trying to keep up with him. What tips do you have for a mother that has a child with ADHD? I think the biggest tip is just to figure out what they want to do that keeps them focused and then put all your time and effort into that. Like you really did well in gymnastics because you, you were focused and you were able to do it. And so I think that you really found something you loved, you could focus on that, and so we really promoted you doing that. So I think that's the key, finding what they really love to do and can focus on and supporting that. As far as learning goes, something uh, that you as a parent will probably have to step in and do. I did horrible in school because, well one, I didn't really care, but, <laughs> Two, a lot of it was the traditional, at least American education system is not conducive to my brain. Like the way that I learned versus the way that traditional American schools, like the teaching methods, not helpful to me at all. Like sitting in a lecture and listening to somebody and having to take, like horrible. So if your child is struggling in school, you might have to step in and maybe try and figure out at home a better way to explain things to them or to teach them because tradition and or American. Send them to a different kind American. of school. If you can. What was your thought about me starting YouTube and streaming? I mean, you just did it. I loved when you and Andrew Harrington were running around the house making videos. And that was before. I know that was before YouTube, stuff. but I loved that, and so that's how I could relate to when you were doing YouTube. Is that I was like, oh, cool, he's doing something that he loves to do, and then. I was really impressed with your ability to just get in there and edit, and then you got the equipment, and then you did all that, so I think I was really impressed more to, than anything. To go off of that, what was your reaction slash thoughts when I told you that I didn't want to go to college? I think we were pretty cool about it. We are like, okay, take a gap year. Like, I, I think your dad actually was more 
wanting you to go to college than I was because I think I realized that you had such tenacity that you'd make something happen. I think if it had gone on and you hadn't gone to college or you hadn't done something that, that taken another step forward, maybe I would have been a little more concerned, but you got your job at 16. You worked your butt off. You worked all the time doing that and YouTube and gymnastics for a while. And I just kind of felt like, well, you're, you're a hard worker. You're gonna I didn't make something do happen. work and gymnastics at the time. I know, but I just meant you'd yeah. done all those three successfully. He's a hard worker. He's gonna make something happen. Did Going Ethan ever annoy you with watching the same thing a million times, like the same movie over and over every night. Balto. Balto was his favorite movie. He would watch And Balto. The Lion King. And The Lion King, but Balto was... And Benji. The, and Benji, but Balto was the... I think Balto was the, the winner there. Dog movies. Anything about dogs. Oh, I should have told the story about when you would cry every time you didn't get a dog. Tell that while I'm looking for the next question. Okay. So, every one Christmas, he thought he was gonna get a dog for Christmas. I'm trying to think how old you were, maybe five. He wanted to get a dog, and so every present he opened, he would open the present, look at it, and it wasn't a dog, and he would break down in tears and cry. I don't know why he thought there would be a dog in a box, but, but every time he would cry. We even got you a, um, like this little um, kind of robot dog at one point, but that was not good enough. Here's an interesting one. How did the success of my channel have an impact on our family? Did it have an I impact think, on our family? I think it had a really great impact on the family. Actually, like I, I think of your granny and how it really connected, especially when you moved to LA, it really connected her to you. And I think that also that's also how I feel. I feel like I'm more connected with you because I get to see you whenever I want on video. So I think it really kind of brought people together because we could actually sort of have part of your life and we saw you you living your life on a daily basis if we wanted to. And so uh, I <laughs> if you wanted to. <laughs> and so I think it really brought brought us together. And I think it made us all proud because I feel like we you know like like your dad and Andrew and I we all share the same skill a lot of the same skill set. So I mm -hmm. think it was really fun to kind of see that still skill set being used and in a successful way, so. Is water wet? Yes. Water is wet? Yes. Explain that. It's not dry. Okay, hold on. So let me spin it this way. Is fire burnt? No, but water's wet. No, I'm wet because of the water. Yeah, but the water's still wet. The water's not <laughs> wet. The water makes things wet. Because it contains Items that are wet, molecules, wet molecules. Items that are <laughs> molecules, wet. Molecules that are wet. If you hadn't chose the name Ethan, what would you have gone with? I I've told them. Didn't have any other boy names? You didn't. Ethan was the only one. There were no well, other we, like yeah, thoughts. Yeah, we did, No, there were no. There were no contenders. And then your dad just called and was like, "What about Ethan?" I'm like, "Oh, that sounds great." There were literally no other ones though. I can't remember any. I really can't remember. Did he remember any? I don't, I, I, don't I don't know. know. I, I didn't I ask don't, him. I don't think so. What was it like being pregnant with Ethan? Oh, you were huge. Did I kick a lot? You did kick a lot. You were really big. You ended up being almost nine pounds, and you were you were really big, and you were low. It was low? Like low in my belly, like not up high. You were low. Huh. Here's a narcissistic one. What is your biggest worry for Ethan in regards to his future and being in the spotlight? Mm. I don't know if I would say I'm in the spotlight, but that's flattering. That you turn into a jerk. You think like, I'm a jerk? Seriously. No, no, I, I said what the biggest worry is. The biggest worry is that you would turn into a jerk, that you would turn into somebody who forgot what it's like to be a normal person. I mean, I don't think you're gonna do that, and I don't really hold it as a deep-seated fear or anything. I just, I think that you, you always were like, don't let me turn into a jerk, so I feel like it's my responsibility as a parent to keep my eye out for that, because I think that's not what you wanted and it's not what I would want, so I think. I don't have any worries about you being successful, because I think you handle life really well, and you know how to take care of yourself, and I think that's important. I didn't hear anything you said. <laughs> all right. I'm so much better than you. Because you ignore me <laughs> all the time. What are your mom's favorite hobbies? What do you like to do? I love Tell them about you. Give them, a, I... give them an Annie Darling elevator pitch. Well, first of all, I'm an artist. I love creating art. I love nature. I love walking in the woods. I love walking on the beach. I'm lucky to live near both of those. You made that art I made that for my house. Art. And I just love seeing things. I love exploring. I love whether it's nature or architecture or I just I just like I like looking at things basically. I have an appreciation of the physical beauty of life. Did Ethan have any ticks growing up with ADHD? You had a blinking thing for a while where you I just still blinked. do that. You do? Mm -hmm. oh. I don't remember any other ticks besides blinking, but you had a little blinking thing. I have like a few of them now. What? Like what? I so I do the blinking thing where I have like the eye twitch. I do that. 
a lot and I'll just like crack my neck a bunch. I do this sometimes. I've also developed a new one recently, which is less of a thing. But I'll like, if something is really, uh, if I have like an overwhelming feeling or something, I also have it if I take a shot. But like if I, something really makes me really anxi anxious, I'll yeah. just do like a, a whistle thing. Hmm. One of the things you always used to do though, that I remember you doing is whenever you talked on the phone, you would walk around the dining room table. It's not really a tick, it's just... No, but it was, it was like you can't stop moving, like you're always moving around. Was there a moment when Ethan was a kid where you thought, yeah, this kid is going places? If so, elaborate. Well, you always wanted to be an actor kind of when you were little. Like you would, after Harry Potter came out, you would do the train scene. You'd do all three characters all in a row, the whole train scene. And you were really good at it. You were really, really good. I made a headshot for you at one point. Did you? <laughs> Out of really? that cute picture that I have hanging in my house. I just kind of thought you were... I'm not necessarily, like I didn't think, oh, Ethan's gonna be an actor. I just saw that you had this gift for being able to memorize. Talk about like not doing well in school, but you couldn't memorize anything like that was visual, like from the movies. And you would memorize these things and then you would come out and you would do the whole thing and you had no fear of being in front of people. Like you had no fear, you'd come in and be like, oh, can I do this, you know? And so. I think it was less of a, a talent or a skill and more just a constant <laughs> need for attention. <laughs> Is, I think. Yeah, but a very focused and very good use of the constant need of attention. I think if I showed you off, it was like by that kind of stuff that you were just like this little, you were a little man. When you were a little, you were just a little man already. Came out off a little Spencer! 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 Hey, just left the building. Bored. Spence, come here. He wants nothing to do with this video. And neither do I anymore, which is why it's ending. Do you have any closing thoughts? Well, I think my only closing thoughts are how proud I am of you, how far you've come. I can't believe that you've come so far so fast in your life. And I'm glad that you are, you are, are who you are and that you are able to be who you are in your job and enjoy it. Jeez, you really know how to talk, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you just asked me for ending comments. Well, thanks for filming this video with me and letting me use you for content. Boy. My sweetest boy. My sweet boy. That's what the word sweet comes from. People know that. Mm-hmm. They do. Okay, bye. Bye. What is that?